Daddy Prepper Bill. Uh, we're out here at the campground. My wife and I decided since the house is full of people, uh, we would decide to go camping, spend some time together, alone, and it'll be the first time we've used the camper since I fixed it. It's freezing cold out here. There's not many people at the campground at all. There's no electric or water, but you know, we brought water here. Uh, the heater is so so in a camper, but over here, there is a bathroom and then showers over there. But it got so freaking cold the first night. And the heater inside was so-so. It, it blows more heat out the exhaust outside than it does blowing heat inside. So I brought a little buddy heater that I've had for years. And I don't know if there's something wrong with it, if it's dirty. But it's the fumes w would kill you. So you, we'd have it on for, open the windows, have it on for 10, 15 minutes, get it kind of warm, and then shut it off. My wife decided, now... Half the campground's closed because it's winter. The first loop way down there, they got, you know, another bathroom and shower house, which is nice and clean. Down at Packham Pond, there's bathrooms down there. You go down there, it's like three miles down the road. You walk in there, and it's 85 degrees in there. But the one by the campground that's open, this part, it was 35 degrees, and I think it was 32 in the bathroom. It was so freaking cold in there. Just just to do number two, you sit on that toilet and woo. There's no way I was going to shower in there. You might as well just pour a bucket of water on you. So my wife decided to go over there. She took a shower yesterday morning. It flooded. The pipes are frozen or the drain is. When she came out of the shower, there was literally like a foot and a half. The whole bathroom was full of water. Uh... Here's her clothes. They were hanging on this little bench or whatever and got soaking wet. Um, she gets up. She locked her keys in her car. Had to go home and get a pry bar and a slim gym and everything. Had to spend time to try and get in her car. Last night, my wife, it, it was freezing in, in the camper. She's not feeling good. And then she's throwing up. She's got the shakes, the shivers. Not doing good. So, uh... I gotta take her home, and it's pouring, pouring frickin' rain. I got stuff out here. We got food out here. They got soaking wet. And I was gonna do a video on uh, a camp stove thing I got, and it poured. It got soaking wet. I had to lower this to keep the water out of it. But yeah, we left everything. Went home last. Well, three o'clock in the morning. She's feeling a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going home. It's going to be freezing cold. I'm not feeling real great, and she's been, she's not doing good at all. So I'm just going to pack everything up and uh, take the camper home, and I guess we're spending Christmas at home. Uh, let me see if the bathroom is still flooded. Okay, let's walk into the men's room. It is a little warmer in here than it is outside. All right, well, somebody took a shower here. Made a freaking mess. Whew. Anybody in here? This is the ladies' room. Oh, somebody didn't make it. There's water. My wife said all oh, this was full of water yesterday. Well, it went down.
So yeah, it's, I don't know, a couple degrees warmer in there. Right now it's 42 degrees. It was like 22, 24 or something. The other night, last night was in the 30s. Right now it's 40 something. So it's 45, maybe 50 in there. Only got a couple campers over there. And over there got some people riding horses. And the cabins are closed, but the shelters are open. And I think there's people in two of the shelters. So I guess somebody didn't quite make it to the bathroom. It is freaking cold. So, I don't know when I'm going to post this before or after Christmas, depending on what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to head home. Unpack all this shit or leave it in the camper until after Christmas. So, I hope everybody has a, a good Christmas and a happy new year. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.